You know why I don't let kids around me, other people, kids around me? Because the way I am. See me, I like to be naked. Let me tell you a little son about Nature Boy. See me, I'm a real human. See my kids, when I see my son, this is how I treat my son. We naked together. My son started being ashamed of his body. And I seen it happen. I didn't want that to happen. They made him ashamed of his body. They showed him that he was naked. I did not want him to know he was naked. I said, son, look here. I didn't even want him to be in a world where he knew he was naked. I wanted my son to be so pure that he never knew he was naked. I take bath with my kids. I'm naked with my kids. I have sex in front of my kids. I never be ashamed of sex. My son be breastfeeding and I'll be making love to his mom. That's me, bro. That's how I get down around kids. I try to keep their purity. I don't want to take their purity away by covering myself up. They're going to be ashamed and cover they self up. And I'm pure at heart. So you can think in your mind, if I let another kid here, I'm going to have to change the way I am so that your kid could be comfortable around me. No, I'm going to be naked as fuck in front of your kids. My son comes up and grabs my penis. I let him grab my penis. I had sex with his mom. I'm making love to his mother. After I'm done, I'm laying there chilling. He grabbed my penis. And he's playing with my penis. I let that happen. I say, yeah, look, you got one too. And he laughing. And the moment is over. It ain't, it's pure. And if I do that with somebody else's kids, and you see how people turned on me over here? You see how people turn on me? Bro, I'm real human, bro. Yeah, that's real. That's how I'm with my son. My son try to be, oh, daddy, cover, don't cover up nothing, son. We naked in front of each other. We not naked. This our clothes. Fuck is you talking about? My son play with my pee. He like, I say, yeah, you got one too. They kids, they want to know. I don't want to hide shit from them. I make love right in front of them. I make love to their mama right in front of them. Like a real man. That's how I get down, homie. That's just me. And if I did that the other round, other people, kids, they would put me under the fucking jail. You can't be a real human. That's why I don't let nobody kids here but mine, homie. Because I ain't about to alter my life for no one. I walk around naked. He was looking for milk or something to feed the baby. So y'all know I'm not making this shit up. All right? Now let me listen to this nigga. Listen. Now, Ileana came back, right? Ileana came back after her little show that she put on. And, um... I guess they was talking about, or they was joking about how people in his comments was trying to help him find things to feed the baby. Now listen to this weird, nasty ass nigga make this sick ass joke that I don't even want to keep repeating. Listen, listen. Y'all was coming through, like all I heard was like, "Yeah, milk, coconut milk, almond milk." Grass milk. Just jack off and give me some cum. Whoa. Whoa. Now you see them laughing like that's funny? This nigga, this nigga acting like he the baby. And he said, just jack off and give me some cum. Why would, who the fuck jokes? Who the fuck? That's your, you allow your son, after finish having sex with your one, one of your wives, you allow your son to play with your penis? What's that, brother? Right. So what I was meaning to say, and I Hey, come back in. Come back in, brother. You got to come back in. You went out. Come back in, brother. Let's get some likes on this video, y'all. Let's get some thumbs up, man. All right, my brother's back. Okay, okay the question so, I asked you, brother, you know was about, um, if you know as about far as being a pedophile and what people are now calling you and you saying that you allow your son to play with your penis and stuff like that. Let's get it. Right. What you need to know about me is I'm a passionate person. I don't, I don't, I'm not a very literal person. I don't like reading. My, my knowledge comes from my heart and wanting to do what's right. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, 
it's like I'll be just trying to express what I'm trying to say. And you ever try to express what you kind of say and it came out wrong? Right. That shit came out wrong as hell. <laughs> but it used it against me. It, it used it against me. That's not what I was trying to say. It was a pure thing, and people took it the wrong way. And I get it, because the way it sounded, I was like, oh, shit, I ain't mean that. You know, they used the shit out of that on me. I had the, I had the people come up to my house and interrogate my son. When I was in Texas, the police knocked on my door. Child services knocked on my door, came in my house after that video. Put, they put that video out on me. They came in and, and, and took my son and uh, asked him a series of questions. The dude had been doing it for 20 years. He said to me, he said, bro, I know you ain't no pedophile. I've been doing this a long time. I know pedophiles. He said, you made a mistake. I know what you meant. I watched the whole video. We already investigated you. We just need to interview your son. I said, okay, cool. He came in the house. He interviewed my son, asked him some questions in a way. Like, do you know where your private spot is at? He said, yeah. He's like, has daddy ever touched you there? He's like, no. And, you know, it's just all kind of ways they have to ask the child questions psychologically to get the answer to see if the child has been sexually abused. And the child, and, and my son was definitely not sexually abused. And so they dismissed the case. But I understood where I made a mistake and I have apologized over and over and over and over for this. And I will apologize again. That is not what I meant. First of all, I don't, I'm going to be honest with you. I've lost the desire really to be what people wanted me to be. And I'm just me. So let me say that at first. But I will, I will admit that I made a mistake and I did not mean that. And anybody that has any kind of sense. So what did you mean? What did you mean when you said that? Pedophile, pedophile would never, and, I, and I'm going to get to that. A real pedophile would never get online and goddamn say that shit the way I said it. Come on. Anybody could know that it was something sketchy about that, that they had to do a little more research. But people are sheeple. So, you know, they just took it for what it was. And I get it because it sounds crazy to me when I look back at it. I'm like, wow, I, I didn't even look at it like that. I'm definitely not a pedophile. What I was saying was I have had sex with my uh, baby mom while she was breastfeeding on the side. I got me some, and I did not see nothing wrong with that. And I said that at a later time, my son, I don't, what I was saying is that I walk around new. You see what I'm saying? Everybody in here, I have a rap on. I'm always new. So I don't wear underwear, so I'm always new. I will not allow my child to be ashamed of his body, and I, I would not, I would not allow my child to be ashamed of his body in front of me, and so I didn't want to traumatize him. I was in a pure state of talking and thinking. But even around the men, brother, that. you walk around nude around the men, and do the men also walk around nude like okay. that as well? We have our own spaces. Okay. We have raps. Everybody has raps. We don't do it like that. We don't do it like that. Okay. No, 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 no. We have raps. You see, everybody wear raps. We are we, we we leave each other that space of privacy. It's just that we are like nudists. We are not like, you know, we're natural people. All right. You understand what I'm saying? So with my son, you see white people online right now that are nudists and they have children that are comes up and hits your penis. You're and breaking now, up, I'm brother. Like, You're breaking up. You're getting ready to go out. You're breaking up. Make sure you come back in. There you go. You went out. Come on back in the building, brother. There you go. You yeah. back. Go oh. ahead. Yeah, so if your son, if my son, my son has touched my penis before and said, Dad, you got a big pee pee. And I'm like, look, you got one too. And I'm teaching him about his sexuality and I'm teaching him about his, his, his. You know why I don't let kids around me, other people, kids around me? Because the way I am. See me, I like to be naked. Let me tell you a little son about Nature Boy. See me, I'm a real human. See my kids, when I see my son, this is how I treat my son. We naked together. My son started being ashamed of his body and I seen it happen, I didn't want that to happen. They made him ashamed of his body, they showed him that he was naked. I did not want him to know he was naked. I said, son, look here. I didn't even want him to be in a world where he knew he was naked. I wanted my son to be so pure that he never knew he was naked. I take bath with my kids. 
I'm naked with my kids. I have sex in front of my kids. I'll never be ashamed of sex. My son be breastfeeding and I'll be making love to his mom. That's me, bro. That's how I get down around kids. I try to keep their purity. I don't want to take their purity away by covering myself up. They're going to be ashamed and cover they self up. And I'm pure at heart. So you can think in your mind, if I let another kid here, I'm going to have to change the way I am so that your kid could be comfortable around me. No, I'm going to be naked as fuck in front of your kids. My son comes up and grabs my penis. I let him grab my penis. I had sex with his mom. I'm making love to his mother. After I'm done, I'm laying there chilling. He grabbed my penis. And he's playing with my penis. I let that happen. I say, yeah, look, you got one too. And he laughing and the moment is over. It ain't, it's pure. And if I do that with somebody else's kids and you see how people turned on me over here, you see how people turn on me? Bro, I'm real human, bro. Yeah, that's real. That's how I'm with my son. My son try to be, oh, daddy, cover, don't cover up nothing, son. We naked in front of each other. We not naked. It's our clothes. Fuck is you talking about? My son play with my people. He like, I say, yeah, you got one too. They kids, are, they want to know. I don't want to hide shit from them. I make love right in front of them. I make love to their mama right in front of them. Like a real man. That's how I get down, homie. That's just me. And if I did that other around other people's kids, they would put me under the fucking jail. You can't be a real human. That's why I don't let nobody kids here but mine, homie. Because I ain't about to alter my life for no one. I walk around naked. Penis. It, it wasn't like he was, I said the wrong word. I didn't mean play with my penis like play with my penis. How, that's old, the, that's how old was your son, brother, at that time? Probably like two, you know, he probably training. You know and he saying? knows how big a man's penis is. He say things like that at the age of two. Daddy, you got a big penis, or in comparison to his, he said you got a big one, Daddy. Like you know, he just say stuff like that. Like that's how my son talked, but it was innocent. It's not uh -huh. in the sense. It's not in the fucking sense of pedophilia. Like yeah, yeah, touch my penis, play with my penis. No, 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 no. It ain't got nothing. No, I ain't no pedophile, bro. You understand me? They don't go down like that, bro. I don't play that. I would never molest a child or do anything like that, bro. Right, that shit right. crazy. And, and it's what it is. All I'll right, be honest with you. I'll let's move crazy. forward. Let me tell you. And just think that at was first, okay. At first when he said that, I thought that he was trying to say that he didn't want to taint his children with sexuality. Then when I really started watching his actions and how he was like um, massaging certain things for me to do, like us having sex in front of the child. I done caught him having sex with another woman in front of my child. It was a whole bunch of shit he was doing. Oh, Lord. So I sat right, there, I remember that. I sat there to ask him, like, why do you feel like that's okay to do in front of the child? And he's right. like, well, they need to know about sex. They need to learn about it. We have to be here to teach our children about sex, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, but that doesn't mean that we're supposed to have sex in front of our child. Amen. You see he like he he got to a point where Eliana was barely one, barely one talking about who he was gonna marry her off to, and I'm like, why are we even thinking about that? He like that's something that we need to yeah, think about. Blah 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 blah. Da, 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 da. I'm not, like, man. that's not nothing we need to think about right now. Eliana's about to be married off. He's wild. That's, that's not even wild. Like, that's, that's a little ass girl. That's a little ass girl. Exactly. But what he what he means when he say that. He, you know, let his children touch his penis and stuff like that, all of that right. shit. This is his way of massaging the child and grooming the child to think how he wants that child to think. So that so that probably in the future he might have access to that child sexually. Yeah, that's the most or thing. or or marry one of his other children that he had done had with another woman off with that child. This is what did certain information, honey, I didn't find out until the very end. Certain specific yeah, he kept from me until the very end. And this is why I had to escape the way that I was putting up a big ass fight from him not doing that shit. So when I finally put my hands up the last time and let him do everything, God showed me everything. I was like, bro, what in the fuck? 
I and God will, will. I will never ever and be with will. you again, my nigga. Ever. Like will. you are a fucking demon in the flesh to the point where this nigga actually turned into one in front of my face in physical. I you have physical sex with them. Listen. You are exchanging and activating genetics. Listen. A lot of people were molested as children. But for a good reason. Okay, y'all heard the nigga, right? Y'all just heard this nigga say a lot of people were molested as children, but for a good reason. Ain't nobody making shit up. Let me play it again. Listen, a lot of people were molested as children, but for a good reason. Am I making this shit up? Let me play it back one more time. Listen, a lot of people were molested as children, but for a good reason. What? Okay, niggas kill me. Niggas kill me out here in these streets. Leave you. you know what I'm saying? Try to help them heal and let them know by harm by by attacking me, it's not gonna heal your trauma. Whatever you went through is not gonna heal you. You feel what I'm saying? So try to face yourself and stop pointing the finger because you're missing the point. S start, you know, taking some responsibility and look at what you did to 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 earn that. And I said, I said to people, I'm like, yo, listen. You know, people say, well, why did I get raped? I said, yo, what if you raped somebody in your past life and that's your karma you need to pay? You ever never thought about that? Ain't nothing happened for no reason. So what if you raped somebody so in this lifetime your soul needed to feel that so you know not to do that again? And you experienced something that you did to somebody else. What if it was in reverse? What if you got raped because at the end of the day you raped somebody in your last life and that was your karma to pay? You know what I'm saying? Or what if you got raped because... It's, it's a, what if you got raped because... Um, that was me so that the universe put you through that so you won't be a whore all your fucking life. Because you was going to go down to, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot of women that, because they was raped, they, 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 they hold sex sacred. And they've been, you know, that rape really helped them in life. Even though it's been something negative, it's something that's with positive influence. Sometimes the negative is used for a positive influence. You have to just find out why. If you keep looking at it as a negative and you keep making yourself a victim, you're never going to heal. You're never going to really fucking hit. You know what I'm saying? Try to find the reason why the universe did that to you. Because it's always for you. The universe is always working for you, never against you. And as long as you keep pointing the fingers, you're always going to attract that shit to you over and over and over again. You're not a victim. Um.